Before we test the pool water, it's important to know why we test and balance it. Balancing the water is for the protection of the homeowner's investment. Balanced water will protect the pool or spa surface and equipment from deteriorating and most importantly, keep the water safely disinfectant to keep swimmers safe. The main factors of water balance are pH, alkalinity, calcium hardness, temperature, and total dissolved solids. Chlorine or bromine being the measurement of sanitizer. Let's start by looking at pH. pH is the value expressing the relative acidity of pool or spa water. The ideal range for pools is 7.4 to 7.6 and 7.2 to 7.8 for spas. The effects of low pH are corrosion of pool surfaces and equipment, skin discomfort, eye irritation, and low effectiveness of chlorine. The effects of high pH are scale and cloudy water, and it also decreases the effectiveness of the chlorine. We will discuss how pH affects chlorine in greater detail when we cover sanitizers. Tied to pH is total alkalinity. Total alkalinity is the key to water balance. It's the measurement of the water's ability to resist changes in pH. It's also known as the buffering capacity of water. The ideal range is 100 to 120 parts per million. A high alkalinity makes it hard to change pH. Cloudy water and scaling. Low alkalinity causes dramatic changes in pH known as pH bounce and causes corrosion of equipment and pool and spa surfaces. This is why it's important to balance the alkalinity before pH. Calcium hardness is quite often overlooked as it doesn't act as a major factor in bather comfort. It can, however, have a major impact on the pool surface and equipment. Calcium hardness is the quantity of dissolved calcium in the water. The ideal range for a concrete pool is 225 to 275 ppm and a vinyl pool is 150 to 275 ppm. Effects of low calcium hardness are aggressive water, pitting of concrete, staining, and liners go brittle. Effects of high calcium are cloudy water, scaling on the pool surface, and shorter filter runs as the sand in the filter start to get calcified. The next two factors in water balance are temperature and total dissolved solids. Both are a factor with pools but are a much larger factor in the balance of spas due to the higher temperatures and smaller bodies of water. High temperatures in pools can help increase the pH level and may increase scaling as calcium is less soluble at higher temperatures. These are also factors for spas but you will also have increased evaporation, increased chemical reactivity, and accelerated secretion of body waste which will be a larger factor in balancing and sanitizing your spa. These factors happen much quicker in spas and need to be addressed more often than pools. Total dissolved solids are a measurement of the total amount of minerals, chemical residue, and other particles that remain in water. As water evaporates, the chemicals stay in your pool. This matter accumulates over time and acts as a sponge, consuming your chemicals and rendering them virtually ineffective. High TDS water has an increased tendency to corrode. There are a few indicators that may tell you that your TDS reading is too high. One would be continual addition of excess chemicals. Water chemistry tests fine, but the water is still not clean, clear, blue, and sparkling, or you may have algae growth despite a good chlorine reading and proper water chemistry. All of these factors combined are the parameters of water balance. Next, we will discuss pool and spa water sanitation and how it's affected by water balance.